The first one is my personal favorite. It's a shoulder holster with horizontal position, meaning the barrel is horizontal to the ground. I got a counterweight here with uh, two extra magazines. So this is best suited with an all metal heavy pistol with a barrel length shorter than four inch. This way, the barrel won't protrude to the back too much. We have an example here, P229, all right? So it's an all metal with barrel length shorter than four. Let's do a safety check, empty mixing, empty chamber. So that's the key target. As you can see, put it right back to the holster. Buckle it to secure it. Lots of advantage because it's shoulder holster, so you gotta shoulder bear the full weight of an old metal heavy pistol. It's also very comfortable, so you can do it all day long. It's not awkward at all. Uh, and it gives you a very good speed, in fact, the fastest draw speed of any carry method is the shoulder holster with horizontal uh, draw. Okay, uh, say you are sitting down or you are driving, you know, it's not good to draw from lower side carry positions, but your upper body may tend to be free of any obstacles, right? The disadvantage is that uh, when you draw, it's unavoidable to sweep other people with your barrel or even sweep into your own hand. So the way to overcome it uh, really is to make a weaver stand first, right? If you are left-handed, do it on the right side, right? So make a weaver stand first, of course, don't forget to unbuckle, and lift your arm right behind your ear, right? So this is when you start to train, you have to train. So sometimes if you just lift your arm, it may, be, it may not be high enough, see? So you just lift way behind to the back of your ear, and then you draw, all right? This way, you got a weaver to avoid stand, sweep 180, 180 degree, and you lift your arm behind your ear, avoid sweeping your own arm, and then you present. Okay. Once you are getting good at it, you, know, you don't have to uh, lift your arm all the way back. So I like it. I call it gentleman's draw because uh, you always have a jacket, a suit, or a, a sports coat with you, make you look good too. All right. The second shoulder holster is the vertical meaning vertical, meaning barrel is vertical to the ground, all right? So this is suited to an uh, all metal heavy pistol uh, and with a barrel length longer than four inch, right? So if it's horizontal, it's going to protrude back. That's why we do it vertical. And you can see the opening here is deeper, deeper cut opening. So you can draw the pistol 45 degree, right? 45 degree, very important. You have to know, practice, or else sometimes it may impede your draw. So that's the way I don't like about it. It's not as straightforward as the horizontal, all right? Let's do a demo. We got a famous 92, Breda 92 here. Empty mag, empty chamber. Okay, all right, let's see in a safe position. So let's put it back. And doesn't have a counterweight, so you got to for here to connect to your belt. Let's put up the sports coat. This method, shoulder carry with vertical draw, is perfect for 92 Breda. Perfect for it. All right. Same thing, right? So you unbuckle it. It's right here, right? So you unbuckle it, make a weaver stand, lift your arm, 45 degree. Present. Now you may ask, what if you have a pistol that is longer than four inch but shorter than five inch, all right? Then let's talk about the last uh, shoulder holster that I want to talk about today. 45 degree, see that? It's not horizontal, it's not totally vertical, it's 45 degree. I got a perfect pistol for it. Six hour, this is P226, four size, uh, go to the war pistol. Empty magazine, empty chamber, all right, pick it. Put it back. Put the sports coat on. Again, shoulder holster. Comfortable. You don't feel the weight as much as carry a heavy pistol on your waist. 
So you can do it all day long. And uh, you know, remember, when you have uh, this kind of anything other than horizontal, you want to pull it 45 degrees, right? Weaver stance, unbuckle it. Weaver stance, lift behind your ear, pull it up, present. Very fast, very safe. Do it again. Unbuckle, weaver stance, present. I just love the flexibility of the draw, whether you are in a sitting position or you are driving. It's the vintage. You have to wear the sports car jacket or uh, suit all the time. But again, men do look better with your coat or sports jacket or suit. So I love this shoulder carry system. I call it gentleman's carry. Now this next carry is the pancake bolster on your hip. Five o'clock position, this is my favorite, especially if you got a 1911, this is definitely the way to go. So the whole pancake plate is hidden inside your pants, all right? And the extra belt goes through it, the loop here, secure it. But if you don't have the loop, the pancake sometimes has some friction, friction point or belt built in there, okay? To create some uh, friction. Now we got a perfect example for it. So this position, I love it because uh, Let's do a safety check first. We got a last bay. Empty chamber, empty mixing. So tight. Oh my gosh. Oh. Empty chamber. Spray on safety. Right. Because 1911 is heavy, right? So you want sit right on your hip we have a lot of the strength muscle and fat on our hip right so and the advantage is that uh, if you have a jacket or sports coat or a suit you know really difficult to tell right if you watch the hit show bash from amazon prime detective bash he carried 1911 and this is his uh, method of carry Right. Again, you know, it give you a very quick draw, but probably the slowest among all the carry method. Still quick, but it's the slowest because you have to kind of sweep open your jacket, right? And sometimes that creates some trouble, and then you draw it from all the way back to present to the front. Okay, it's kind of safe in terms. Of it's not sweeping to anybody but the ground. But again, advantage, comfort, disadvantage, the speed of the draw. And of course, the concealability, right? If you don't wear a sports coat, then you know, people will see it, unless you are law enforcement. Now I want to show you what the pancake holster looks like. See this big plate that's called pancake. You see this? This is the bell friction, friction bell I talk about. So this piece goes inside your pen, all right? So this is outside. This is your pants. My hand is your pants. So it creates some friction point, okay? So it will do it, you know, even though without a belt, but I highly recommend you do it with a belt and put the belt over the belt loop here, okay? Very nice. The next one is the three o'clock, three o'clock carry outside the waistband, or you can call it outside the waistband, three o'clock. Now this is suited for a full size, go to the war, full battle ready pistol. In this instance, it's an HK Elite 45 ACP. All right, so let's do a safety check before we draw. Empty magazine, empty chamber. I love, I love this pistol, probably the easiest if not the easiest, one of the easiest, if not the easiest pistol to shoot accurate. Okay, let's do a, you can do it safe or you can do it decock. Or carry, I love to do it decock. Right, so you put it on the side. Buckle. Now this won't work with suit because you know the suit, unless you got a very oversized suit or else you will see the shit, you will print. 
But if you got a big ass jacket like this one, you know, Carhartt, I love the Carhartt jacket, I love it. You know, then you can do it, right? And of course, very safe to throw, right? Just, you know, unbuckle it. So I unbuckle it and then throw. Okay. So it's very fast. It's going to be fast, faster than, say, five o'clock, right? You don't have to sweep your jacket to as far back as the five o'clock or pancake one. Uh, you can do a pancake here, but sometimes the pancake, the shape of the pancake may not keep your body shape here. So personal, you have to try. Okay. So this is a long barrel, so it's also suited. Uh, for example, if you have a P320 full size, this is a good option. But again, this advantage is that uh, it's not going to do it uh, in the summer unless you are in a uh, open carry state. But still, you know, in the winter, it's a heavy jacket, very easy to put, right? The last one is, of course, considered controversial for a lot of people. It's appendix carry right here, just because it points to your genital position or possibly uh, if you miss fire, it's going to point to the artery in your thermal. Okay, so, you know, a lot of people don't like it, but it has advantage of comfort. Interestingly, comfort is actually very comfortable, even though the position is kind of awkward. Uh, and give you the advantage of speed, all right? And also the flexibility in terms of the seasons. Uh, in the summer, you can put a t-shirt on, you can put a sweater on, you just lift it up and draw, okay? Lift it up and draw. But sometimes, if you don't lift it up high enough, it will impede your draw. And also when you reholster it, you want to make sure there's nothing inside, all right? So let's do a, and of course, you have to have a pistol with shorter barrel or else it's going to protrude to your wrong area, make it very comfortable, especially when you sit down or driving. Also, the disadvantage is that uh, if you are driving or you are in a sit-down position, you know, I mean, it's definitely uh, easier compared to side or five o'clock, but still, you know, not as fast as the horizontal. Let's do a safety check. Got a Glock 19 here. Empty magazine, empty chamber, right? So when you want to holster it, what you do is you kind of, you know, move your tip front and move your upper body back. You see that? I'll show you. This is your usual position. Just do it like that, all right? Do it like that. Then, you know, okay, I want to check it's, I want to check it's uh, nothing inside. Okay. Let me draw. Right, reholster, not draw. I'm sorry, reholster. Okay, and then when you draw, it's a very fast draw. See, probably as fast as the shoulder horizontal. I would argue as fast, if not faster. Right, so a lot of people like it. Again, see, see that nothing inside. Okay, let's reholster it. Right, so you want to reinforce. Okay, very fast draw. I believe it would be faster than. Uh, horizontal shoulder. But when you reholster it, see that? Let's do reinforcement. All right, nothing in here. Reholster it, okay? And when you draw it, make sure there's nothing impediment here, All right? So you have to lift that shirt high, very high, you know, almost to your chest. So it may not work for some female shooters. Uh, and uh, like I said, if you have a tie, there's also impediment, all right? So if you have a tie, probably do a formal dress. So this is probably not the way you want to do it anyway. Still very considerable, even with the suit. Uh, but again, this is more suitable for summer carry, right? So that's it. Which one is your favorite? What pistol you use for carry and what method, what holster, you know, what weapon line you put on? Please comment below. I love your comments. Please subscribe, share, like, dislike. I love you guys. I love you guys. Uh, let's practice. Make it a, 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 a instinct. Uh, for all our carry and check your local lawyer to make sure you have a permit to carry. All right, I'll see you next time.